the mind building up to a particular moment, that moment's imminent. You get these two minutes before the race, for those two minutes you've got absolutely nothing. Can we hold it? Watch out for Italy! Great Britain on the line! Here we go! Jazz! Great Britain get the gold medal and relief all round! To actually win an Olympic gold medal was a dream and in the end it was a dream come true. Tim Foster won gold at the Sydney 2000 Olympic Games. He also rode for Oxford in the 1997 defeat to Cambridge. But where is he now? I was very lucky to have a career in sport that, that for 25 years has, uh, has been what I want to do and has allowed me to do it. But actually I was sort of realising there are things I'd like to do, whether it's in business or actually stretch myself a little bit further. So the, yeah, the course here at the, the side business school in Oxford was yeah, was the next step for me and it's been yeah, it's been fantastic. An approach by the Swiss rowing team took Tim to Luzern, coaching the crew for seven years. He now calls Switzerland home with his wife and two children. I mean life does change. I retired actually from rowing pretty immediately after the games. I mean, one, because I've achieved what I'd always wanted to achieve, and two, actually my body was probably telling me enough was enough. Um, so actually it's the adjusting to a different regimen, a different different lifestyle. Um, I went into coaching and coached actually for 12 years, so um, yeah, that kept me in the sport and kept the excitement and uh, also kept me away from the real world. When I'm not busy, I'm busy. Um, life changes when you have children, but I mean, it, it, it's still based around um, sport in some way. I mean, there's still a little bit of coaching. Um, something of what I'm trying to do is, is to try and yeah, make that bridge between sport and business, either personally, but also um, tell people about it and uh, encourage business people to take on some of the principles that we, we have in high performance sport. Despite Tim's busy schedule splitting his time between the snowy-capped mountains of Switzerland and Oxford's side business school, he still found time to mention BMY Mellon. BMY Mellon are the sponsors that came in last year and actually an event like the boat race does need um, yeah, financial sponsorship and it's great that they have, have come on and, and hopefully will be involved for, for many years to come. 